Couple teams knocking on the door of trying to get to the finals in the West. One of those are the Denver Nuggets, led by my guy, who I affectionately call the Stretch Mark Five, but he went and got in shape to challenge that. He also got a fresh cut, which should not go unnoticed, because with a fresh cut, look good, feel good, play good, and he played good last night. What do you see from the Joker? It just, it's, I have so many songs and beats and rhythms in my head. You said something about um, looking, the first thing that came to my mind is main source, the Joker looking at the front door. And in that case, he spent baseline backwards and did the bang bang with the crew cut. And we're gonna have so many conversations about who the top players in the league. If you've watched this program, or if you've listened to anything that have come out of my mouth, I never have this conversation without bringing up the Joker. He's gonna be amongst mm -hmm. the league leaders in points, rebounds, Probably is gonna lead the league in assists. And you know what Jacoby said on the production call today? That he loved about my guy. It made me so very happy. People think the Joker don't play D. Jacoby looked deeper in the box score. And what did you discover also, Jacoby? Thank you for teeing me up for that. Because one thing is, we don't like to talk about the MVP too early. Remember when Kyler Murray was the MVP? You remember when Russell Wilson was the MVP? But look at this. I did a little bit of research. Look at where he ranks. PER. Average points per game, points per game, rebounds per game, steals per game, number one in effective field goal percentages, fourth in steals. Now, I did notice something while I was looking this up. You gotta get some more blocks, Joker. You gotta get some more blocks. Cause I was like, I know I missed him somewhere, these top, top blocks in the league. I scrolled through that thing like three times. Like, I know he got a couple more blocks than this, but no, no, Tobias Harris has more blocks than the Joker. So that first stat was PE crazy. And since he's first, <laughs> That's crazy P.E., I would assume, right? Shout to Uncle yes. Chuck D. And here's the thing about his game, Jacoby. He's one of one. There's no player in the league that does what he does for his team. Mm -mm. He's legitimately mm. a point center, leading the league in assist. Just think of leading. He's shooting floaters off both legs. He's shooting three-pointers. Like, his you game get a, you is get a outstanding. Post up. He spun baseline and dunked backwards. <laughs> like, he spins baseline on you and dunks, and he shoots threes, and he leads the league in effective field goal percentage. There is no one else like the Joker. Can he keep this up? And can, the, frankly, the Nuggets win enough game to elevate him in that MVP conversation yes. when we get yes. to that point yes. of the yes. season? Well, yes. there's another team in the Western Conference that's also trying to break into the top four in that conference and establish themselves and that is the utah jazz now the jazz beat the we pelicans the yesterday and they did the so just by raining threes from the outside just raining threes from the outside they are now tied with the second best record in the league what do you think about these jazz is this an early hot start or is this legitimate and can continue i think i need to go into my cell phone and oh. have one of my favorite players who along with jamal murray and booker was a breakout star in the bubble, Donovan Mitchell. And mm. as much as I loved him showing up at the game with a bulletproof vest on, acknowledging the fact that people that look like us aren't necessarily safe in our own country, in particular by the people who are designed to protect and serve, the Utah Jazz have an identity, Jacoby. They have an anchor plan defense in Rudy Gobert who's gonna contest and block shots and play well out on the floor against pick and rolls. They got Donovan Mitchell, who could be a primary ball handler, get me 30 plus points, plus get me 10 assists. And they surrounded them with shooting. Jordan Clarkson, you know how much I love irrational confidence, heat check, Austin Rivers, Jamal Crawford, Jordan Clarkson kind of players. And so now all of a sudden you get Bogdanovich back, who's their third best player who they did not have in, in the bubble. When they're making a three, we know that they're going to play D. They actually have legitimate balance. They're one of the teams in the league with an identity and legitimate balance. So big shout to the Utah Jazz for every time we look down at the Western Conference standing these last couple of years, even if you want to overlook them, they're right in the conversation. Jalen. I'm going to go negative Jacoby. I still need to see it in the playoffs. I still need to see it in the playoffs. I still need to see it in the playoffs. And until then, I'm going to be another one of those national media members that just ignorantly overlooks 
the success of the franchise and especially their head coach, Quinn Snyder, who I absolutely think is one of the best and doesn't get talked about it. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.